Hi everyone! In this tutorial video, I will be teaching you how to typeset a score into Sibelius 7, the fastest, smartest and easiest way to write music. I will be covering shortcuts for quick input of notes, expression markings, slurs, tempo text and many more. When you have opened the program, you will see the Quick Start menu. At the right side of the menu, scroll all the way to the bottom. At the bottom, select the piano template with a single click. You will then be directed to the next menu that looks like this. I want to draw your attention to the right side of this menu highlighted in red. At this side of the menu, you will input essential components of a score such as key signature, time signature, title of the piece and so on. I will briefly go through with you key areas of this segment in the next few slides. The first thing to do is to select the time signature with one click. As you scroll down, you will need to input the tempo text. Click on the drop-down menu and select the appropriate tempo text. After doing so, select the key signature. Lastly, input the title and composer of the score you are typesetting. When you are done, click on the Create button at the right-hand corner as indicated by the red arrow. This is what you will see immediately. Now, there are a few things you will need to see to before inserting the notes. Adding bar numbers. This is required in most N-level exam questions. This is the shortcut. Press Ctrl, Shift and E on the keyboard. A menu will pop up. As seen here, click on bar numbers on the left column. The next thing you will have to do is ensuring that the appearance is right. Just follow the selections I have done indicated in the area marked out in red. When you are done, click OK. There, bar numbers inserted. Next, more often than not, you will only need 16 bars. The program's template gives you a lot more bars than that. You will have to delete the extra bars. Follow these steps indicated on screen. You may pause this video at any time. This is a screenshot of what you will see when you have followed those steps in the previous slide. When you have deleted the bars, your score will look like this. The next step is to neaten your score. Each system would usually have 4 to 5 bars. Count the number of bars per system according to the score given to you. Click on the bar line as pointed out in the picture and press enter on the keyboard to separate the next system. This is what you will see after you have done all those things in the previous slide. Here's the exciting part. To insert notes, you may press N on the keyboard or use the keypad located at the right side of the page. Press Escape to clear the blue arrow or any other presets that may have been in memory. These are shortcuts you need to take note of. To add slur or ties, follow the steps here. There is a difference between a slur and a tie, so don't confuse yourself. Read whatever points I've placed on this slide. To add expression markings, simply press Ctrl and E on the keyboard. Click on any part of the score that you want to put the marking. A cursor will start blinking. Right-click for a menu for you to choose the different expressions. As seen on this page, the symbol F is circled in red. It tells the player to play the music at a loud volume. Next, we have crescendos and diminuendo lines. Just press L 
a menu will pop up. Select the line that you want to add in your score by just clicking on it. There, the decrescendo line has been added. Lastly, to input chord symbols, you will need to select text in the tabs menu. This screenshot will demonstrate what I mean. And there you have it, the B flat chord symbol just above bar 2. We have come to the end of this tutorial video. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.